Hi there, I'm Spike Shock, and let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Let's get right along to naming the character. Um, I'm going to call him Loink. Yes, that should do nicely. You know, I don't think you get to call yourself a spirit if you are in fact a tree, as being a spirit would imply you didn't actually have a physical form, but that's just me, I guess. Uh, when he lives all alone in the forest with all these children, and he's singled out the... One boy who doesn't have a fairy. I love that reaction on Link's face right there. He's just so shocked to see this uh, man who's not so pale as everyone else around him. Because if you think about it, uh, Ganon there hadn't really done anything yet. Technically isn't, uh, well, aren't his forces kind of part of Hyrule, so just odd that he's saying they're preparing to attack Hyrule when, ah, whatever. And of course, he's got to single out the one guy without a fairy to... Send him into the danger, along with the most annoying fairy of all time. It's really just his plan to get rid of us. Tired of Navi talking and Link playing hard to get. <laughs> what is that kid doing to that rock? So inept at flying that she just goes right into that bar. Of course, really, isn't she too big to fit in that hole anyways? Like, really? Hello! Of course, she's here for two seconds, already demanding that we wake up to go see the great Deku tree. Link's eyes are wide open, but he just ignores her. And she's already questioned our ability to do anything. What does she mean, finally? I mean, she's been here for all of like 10 seconds and he's already up, eyes open, paying attention to her. That's pretty fast. 
I've never heard of people waking up that fast. Anyway. I guess I'd get best get started. The game runs a little slow as it's a, uh, well, not the North American version, so it only goes at 50 frames per second instead of 60. But can't complain getting a GameCube game to work on a N64 emulator. Let's see if I can find the 5 here. Just targeting something and back flipping around, can find you rupees in this little area, but seems like I'm not having any luck with it. Oh well. over by this boulder here, especially when you've only got three hearts. I actually don't know if, don't remember if it really hurts you yet, but... Eh. And here we get the first item of the game. Kokiri sword. I don't know if it really counts as a sword when it's clearly just a knife. The hidden treasure of the Kokiri. I say the uh, Deku tree just hid it over here so they wouldn't be able to put up a fight against him and rebel. Eh. Emulator doesn't want to emulate the picture of Link there, but or Loink, whatever. But no big deal. You can just count the polygons on that rock. Keep forgetting that I gotta actually stop in front of these things to get inside them. I've never really been a fan of this whole hunting rupees right at the start of the game thing. It's just... Uh, kind of droll. Anyway, and here we get a green rupee worth one. Blue rupee worth five. Of course you know this stuff if you've ever played a Zelda game before. As everybody has. That chest has a uh, heart in it. So I'll leave it there in case I'm ever just kind of wandering by and need a heart. Got enough for the shield now, but. Might as well show off the last five or how to get to it. Just in case you didn't get enough green rupees to compensate. She wants me to target her with L. Only... that's not quite how the controls on this are working right now. And the guy passes off a slab of bark as a shield.
I hate how they still just force the text to scroll at its own pace despite it being the Master Quest version. I mean, really, shouldn't they have changed that? Of course, I suppose they didn't really skip the tutorials or any of that, and they're still going to force me to listen to Navi all the time, too, but... He wants me to at least equip a sword and shield. Well, I just happen to have a sword and shield. He's just appalled that I found these. Even though one is just commonly sold in the shop, and the other one wasn't exactly well hidden. Apparently, we're Sari and the Great Deku Tree's favorites. I don't think we really count as the favorite if he sticks us with Navi and then sends us off to uh, fight for him. What an inappropriate time to celebrate. He just found a stick. He's just so happy about it. He's got to raise over his head and have his victory tune. Might as well get those going right now. As I will be needing them soon enough. Great Deku Tree's like, oh great, it's you again. I like how he has to refer to himself in the third person every time he uh, says anything about himself. These forest people just don't like those desert people. He's been cursed. Uh, no. <laughs> right, I didn't actually read that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? I wasn't expecting him to uh, do anything when I said no. I've never done that before. I say he's just trying to eat us. The moment we walk in that mouth, he's going to chew us up and spit us out. Hey! It's a trap! Oh yeah, I bet the Deku Tree's been waiting a long time for that. <sighs> anyway... I'm gonna call this first video at that. And yeah. I'm Spite Shock, and I'll see you next time. Laters.